Hello, and welcome back to Drupal and Panels. Uh, we just talked about how to create a custom two-column layout for our homepage, and what we're going to talk about now is how to make the content on this page different based on who's looking at it. So right now we have an advertisement on the left-hand side, we have an article on the right. If we wanted that advertisement only to appear to people who are not logged into our website, we can do that. We can use panels to make different content appear in the left-hand column when people are logged in. There's actually two different ways to solve this problem, and the first way we're going to talk about solving this problem is by using the visibility settings for each content pane itself. So we're going to start by editing our panel. We'll click the contextual administration link at the top right hand side of this panel and it says edit panel. And that'll take us to the content section of the page manager interface. This is where we see our wireframe layout of what our page should look like. You'll notice that each content pane itself has a little cogwheel at the top right hand side and that's how we get to the settings for each content pane. So we're going to start with our advertisement and what we want to do here is take a look at the settings that are provided by panels. We've already visited two. We've already checked out the settings option here. We did this through the panels in place editor. We noticed that settings takes you back to the form that you were given when you were adding this piece of content to the page in the first place. So we were offered to allow um, an override of the title. So what we're going to do here is change that again. And also in this settings drop down, we have an access to the styles. This was also something we changed through the panels in place editor interface. We could change it again here if we wanted to change the system style. Uh, the third thing we're going to talk about are the visibility settings for this particular content pane. And visibility rules are very similar for panels as they were for blocks. So for those of you who are familiar with blocks, we can go to the blocks interface and check on the configuration of, for example, the search form. And here you can see that we have um, the ability to override the title, just like we do with panels, and we also have visibility settings here at the bottom. This is how you decide which pages your block should appear on. Uh, the options that are available to us here are just pages, which is where we enter in a path, basically a URL string. Um, we also have content types, where you can determine a specific type of content that it's supposed to appear next to, and user roles. So we could say, if the user is logged out, show this block. If the user is logged in, show this block, etc., etc. We're going to do the same sort of thing with our content pane. So back to our panels interface. Only here, you'll notice that there are a lot more options for panels under the visibility rules section. So if we wanted to add a new rule, you can see that there are options here for context, which we'll talk about a little bit later, the current theme, the front page, PHP code, which I would not recommend using, but sometimes it's your last resort, and the URL path, just like we saw with block module. A user bundle, which um, is sort of like a user type, we haven't gotten to that yet, but we'll talk about it a little later. Uh, user role, which we saw in panels, and also user permission, which is a slightly more specific way of accessing a uh, user. So what we're going to do here is use user role, because we want to make this advertisement invisible to people who are logged in. So we'll click next. And the top option here can sometimes be confusing because what Drupal is trying to ask you is which user should we check the role on? And in this case, we want to check the role on the user who's looking at the page. And that's not always a user that's logged in. In fact, what we want to do is check and see if that user is logged out. So if the user is logged out, which is an anonymous user in Drupal speak, then we want this block to be visible. If the user is logged in, then we don't want it to be visible. So when you're reading this page, you need to think of the drop down option under the very first question here for user as if it were saying user who's looking at the page. And then you can read this form as if the user who's looking at the page is logged out, then you want to show the advertisement block. Then the advertisement block will be visible. So we're going to go ahead and click save. And just to make sure that we got that correct, we're going to update and save our panel. And we should notice that the advertisement block disappears for us since we're currently logged in. And it has, which is great. So now what we're going to do is go back and add two more pieces of content into the left-hand sidebar. The first one will be a search form, and we'll choose an advanced search. And the second one will be a list of users who are online. 
So in order to add the search form, we're going to use the contextual cogwheel at the top left. We're going to click Add, and the search form is located in the Widgets category on the left. So we'll add the advanced search form here. Uh, we'll leave everything as they are, which is fine. Click Finish. And then we're going to also add a uh, list of currently online users, which is found under the Activity category. It's called Who's Online. We'll drop that in also. And we'll slide the search form up to the top of the page. So we'll click Update and Save. And now you'll notice that we'll see both uh, Advanced Search Form and also a Who's Online block. So now that we've got the content showing up for us, that's great, but we need to make sure that this content doesn't also appear for people who are logged out. So we're going to go back and edit this panel again. We're going to use the contextual administration link, click edit panel, and we're going to adjust the settings on these two um, new content panes we've added. So we're going to start with who's online, and we're going to add here a visibility rule to make sure that this block only appears for a specific user role. And we're going to check that the user looking at the page is logged in, which is authenticated. We're going to click Save, and now that pane should only appear when the user is logged in. We're going to do something a little extra sneaky with the content search form, where the first thing we're going to do is add that same visibility check just to make sure that the user role is a user who is looking at the page must be logged in which is good. But now we're also going to make sure that the user who's logged in has permission to you do an advanced search. So we're going to add a second visibility rule here for a specific permission and make sure that they have permission to, and here's a list of all of the permissions Drupal provides. We're going to go down to the search module and say use advanced search. So that way we don't get a search block showing up for people who don't have permission to run that search and we'll click Save. There's also something else that you should note about the visibility rules, and that's that you can control how they combine. So in our content search form, under the visibility rule setting, you can see now we have one for the user looking at the page is logged in, or the user looking at the page has the ability to run an advanced search. There's also an option here for settings at the bottom. If you click Settings, you can decide whether all of those criteria you specified must be true, or if only one of them must be true. So what this is basically asking is if you want those two criteria anded together, or if you want them ORed. And with panels, you can either choose all of them must AND, or all of them must OR, and you can't mix and match. Um, we can talk about other ways to solve those problems. Uh, this, most of the time, will get you what you need. In this case, we want both of those criteria to be true. We want them to be anded together, so we'll leave it as all. But if you needed it to be one or the other, you do have the option here to save that. So now we're going to go ahead and update and save this panel again. And when we look at our front page, we can see both options here. And if we're to log out, we should see just the advertisement. And there it is. So that's how to make the same page, which is a panel, display different content based on who's looking at it. Thanks a lot.